Welcome to the kitchen at Palmer's Progress. Today we're going to make blueberry chocolate chip scones. My favorite things to bake are scones and some important details to remember when you're baking scones is that you want to make sure your butter is nice and cold and you're half and half and you never want to over mix. I'm going to start by adding in our dry ingredients. We have some flour, baking powder and salt, and some sugar. We're just going to mix these up. And now it's time to add the butter, which we have in the refrigerator to keep it nice and cold. Alright, so I have the butter and I'm going to Go ahead and incorporate that. I'm going to borrow your four kilos before you beat those eggs. Put that in here. And use our pastry cutter. We're going to incorporate that throughout this, the dry ingredients. And we're going to do this until the butter is in little pea sized shaped uh, pieces. <laughs> I'm going to crack these eggs. So it takes a little time, but it's well worth the effort. Uh, when to do it fairly quickly, so the butter stays nice and cold. What do you think? I think I have a little ways to go here. Yeah. <laughs> Very important that you get all those chunks into little pea size so it can be incorporated throughout all of the mix because we all love buttery scones. All right, I think we have it just right. Now if it for some reason it's the beginning, you know, the first time you've done this or if you have a hectic day or something like that, um, some distractions and you feel like, oh, the butter's not quite cold enough, you can throw it in the fridge and let it cool down before you add the wet ingredients. All right, so now it is time to add a little bit of our wet ingredients here. We've got our eggs all beat up and add those in there. Now I like to use a fork. Um, like I said, we don't want to over mix. So it's just enough to get the, the wet, dry ingredients wet, right? So we incorporate the eggs and now I'm going to go ahead and put in the half and half. And I'm gonna put a little bit at a time because like I said, we just want it to be wet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
All right, so now this is the fun part where we get to add the chocolate chips. And these are our blueberries that we picked this fall. Now, they're out of the freezer, so they're wet. Now, <laughs> this is the tricky, kind of messy part of the blueberry scones that I make. Um, a lot of people use dry fruit, and then you don't have the mess, but I just love the taste of uh, Fresh. fall. Yep. So I risk it all here. <laughs> I'm going to have blue hands after this. <laughs> and I'm not going to waste any of them. I want all of them in there. All right, it's time to shape our dough into some scones. Now I'm going to be really gentle with this because I don't want my scone to be all purple. So we want the splash of blueberries throughout. It is a really tough um, to know exactly how much moisture you want in these. Now I've doubled the recipe. So I'm shaping these into triangles. Trying not to touch them very much because that takes away from that light, fluffy scone. Right. Ah. <laughs> like I said, it's very, very messy. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm just squishing them. All right. I want these about a half inch thick. I told you it was messy. <laughs> what makes the tops of the scones that golden brown. Right now we're gonna slice them into our scone shapes. Placing these on the baking sheet. Again, I'm trying to touch them as little as possible to make sure that butter stays nice and cold so we get those. It just makes them more fluffy. And we have the egg brushed on the top so you have that nice golden brown. And then we'll move on to making the glaze. We also have the oven at 400. You want to make sure the oven is at temperature when you put these in. Sugar in the air. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll take this. 
And then we're gonna add in our softened butter. There's so many parts of cooking that you, I don't know, I keep coming to this, but you have to trust the process. Shaping our scones, try not to over mix, not adding too much um, liquid, things like that. And this is another example of that. As we put that butter in, I think, how is that gonna be all throughout? But our whisking will do the trick. All right, the scones are ready. They're nice and brown on top. And the glaze is getting ready. Set them here. And we'll set them on the cooling racks in a moment. It's time to put our next batch in. All right, the tops are nice and golden brown. We didn't mix too much, so you still get not just the blueberries, but the white flour and the chocolate chips. Part of why these are a favorite for Derek and I is that when we were guiding in Ely, Minnesota, one of our favorite things to do on our time off would be to go to the local cafe and we would get blueberry chocolate chip scones and they were delicious. And I wanted to bring this as a tradition in our family. Crazy. So good. All right, it's time for the final step. Besides enjoying our <laughs> our bake, is putting the glaze on. You just want enough to have that little sweet. All right, now it's time to taste these scones. See how they turned out. There we go. All right. Looks like they're crispy on the outside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. The blueberries, chocolate, lemon. Yeah, it's chocolatey, and then you get that lemon and blueberry, and it just builds it right back up. It's not too rich. It's kind of light. Perfect with a cup of coffee or some tea. <laughs> so if you enjoyed watching this bake, make sure to subscribe, press like, and we'd love to hear your comments. And we look forward to baking with you next time.